GBPUSD this week has found enough bull strength to push the price even higher since the previous week has closed. We can see that the previous week has closed here around this supply zone and currently we can see the price has found enough strength to make a break onto the upside and then confirming this uh, previous uh, resistance now acting as a support and the price continue to move up reaching 1.26116 resistance level here we can see also the price has broke broke above this uh, confluence of resistance around 1.246 price level and continue to move up which means the bulls have enough strength to get the price outside of this small uptrend channel which means much stronger bull strength than it is the selling pressure on, currently on the market let's see the weekly time frame how this looks very bullish as we can see the previous week has ended as a bull, bullish one this week has ended as a bullish one and the price has stopped at the very critical level around 1.26 price level which is a very strong resistance area and also a very strong supply zone we can see in the past this was a very strong price level where the price bounced back down and we can see in the past the same scenario here so this will be very hard for the price in the following week but let's see how this looks also on the monthly time frame since we have one more week until this month ends we can see the price will close probably as a bullish one this month and also very critical level for the monthly time frame is this one here which is 1.255 price level i have mentioned the previous week analysis and we can see as it looks the price is currently above that around 50 pips so this will be also very important level for the next week the next one very important level for the weekly uh, for the monthly time frame is this one 1.266 price level and also 1.268 so the this is the area for the monthly time frame the next one that needs to be closed above in order to continue to be a bullish one we can see very important level is also this one currently here 1.26 where we can see in the past the problems the price had problems going above so in order for the price for the monthly time frame to continue to be bullish one the price needs to stay above 1.255 price level on the monthly time frame so we have one more week for the price to stay above to have this bullish month uh, to do to have this bullish monthly candle as a bullish one with the future um, forecast going above this price level which means a bullish one so if the price goes above this one here which is 1.255 price level very critical this will mean that the price will have problems and there is a possibility that the price will retrace a little bit around 1.243 1.243 price level but in order to have a clear information about how the price will behave around these price levels we need to go to the month to the weekly time frame and see how this looks so the price has found enough bullish strength to push the price even more higher and we can see that the price has stopped at a very critical level on the weekly time frame the first one where the price had problems is this one here which is a very critical one and it is 1.257 and it is uh, 1.255 we can see it here so this is the area very critical one which i have explained also on the monthly time frame so the weekly time frame has managed to find no strength to close above but very important level now is 1.262 price level we can see it here on the chart which is a very important level so the price has bounced from this price level 1.262 price level and it has retraced a little bit down but did not close below 1.255 which is a very important level for the weekly time frame so the next week the price needs to break above 1.26 and then making a confirmation of this breakout as a valid one on the daily time frame and we will see how this looks uh, on the daily time frame but if the price goes below 1.255 price level this will mean that price has bouncing from this great supply zone and the price could stop when going down just a minute to see where is the first one is this one here we can see this 1.245 which is 100 pips below that the next support level we can see it here on the daily time frame here it is also and also visible here in the past here and also in the past here let's go to the daily time frame and see how this looks just a minute i need to move this one a little bit right and let's do it like this it will show us a much more clear information about the supply zone 
Let's go from the past. In the past, the price when I reached this area, 1.26 price level, we can see there were several pin bars suggesting the price goes down and the price reverses back down around 1.244 price level, which I have just mentioned on the weekly time frame. So very critical level for now is 1.26 and also 1.255, which is a very important level for the price. Now, if the price goes below this one on the daily time frame, the price will probably reach 1.245. We can see it here, very important levels, 1.255, very important level, and also the price around 1.245, we can see it here, very important level and also a support zone. Demand zone, it will be a confluence of support here because we can see it here, uptrend channel acting now as a support and also horizontal support level. Now, if the price goes above and makes a breakout to the upside, which means the price goes above 1.262 price level, this will mean the breakout has happened on the bullish side and we need a confirmation on the bullish side and that is that the next candle on the next day closes uh, here around this resistance then will act as a support and doesn't go below that which means doesn't go below 1.26 price level. If it goes down this will mean a false breakout and we'll see price going below that and that is that I'm watching currently on the daily time frame inside the weekly time frame. So if the price goes above and confirms this breakout as a valid one on the daily time frame, the next one where the price could stop and reach is this one here, which is around just a minute, it is here. We can see it here in the past. What is the first level? And that is 1.27 price level. And if it reaches this area, the next one is probably here, 1.27, which is the next supply zone. But before that happens, we need to see will the price makes a breakout to the upside or it will be a false breakout price going to around 1.244. So these are very important levels that needs to be uh, watched next week on the daily time frame. I'm also sharing the entry ideas about the stop loss, take profit and also what is the entry price point I am expecting on this um, currency pair inside my trading community. So if you would like to join, you can also join. Uh, below in the description you will see one PDF, a tutorial for the traders if you would like to learn also about uh, this supply and demand zone strategy that I'm currently using. It's free, so you can use it and you get it inside your email and much more uh, uh, very important and also very useful uh, resources and also information I'm sharing inside the that PDF tutorial and also over another emails I'm also sending to my uh, email subscribers. See you next time and happy trading! That is all from today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading!